and then restart the video. I that was just because I ran out of the window time I have for uh, YouTube. I'm just going to pull on, just in some of the light areas, some skeleton bone and just push it around a bit more so the pigment sits on top. So it's highlighting but in a really lazy way. What you don't want when you're doing this is for the highlight to form in any of the cracks and become a negative glaze. So you're, you're finding the raised areas and that's great. And you put, you're pushing the pigment around. But you want to make sure it's then blended in. All right, let's start getting specific now with some uh, some stark heavy colour disease so I'm just going to go in and <laughs> I didn't notice the Nurgle mark on him until just that point there we go <laughs> Some really nice gross boils at the back here. Okay, uh, there needs to be a tiny bit of contrast in this skin, so I'm going to just quickly shift to a blue and I'm just grabbing any blue I've got sat next to me in this instance. This is a sky blue from scale 75, and I'm just going to quickly glaze up the blue. And then I'm going to hit in some of the kind of intestinal and maggot areas. And it is very blue, but don't worry. So now the blue's in, let's just take it off there so it doesn't ruin that. I'm going to go back and I'm going to feather it, so pull back and forth. And then I'm going to take the red which is the coverall of all coveralls and we're just going to hit the belly button back in again and make the skin look angry and split. This little dude's got a nipple so we should probably give him a nipple. Top tip for a nipple. Place a spot of colour and glaze it away in one go. And he's got another nipple there. So we'll do that again. Place a spot of colour it away. Okay, I'm just going to quickly switch now to a white. Just switch into a smaller brush so I can quickly do this. Okay, so I just want to Make that eye pop a bit more, but leaving the other one battered. And then I'm going to draw the paint across my hand to remove the paint from the brush. And pick out his teeth. We are getting close to our 30 minutes, I think, people, so um, I'm obviously not finished. But the 
kids and stuff have somewhat thrown me off plus doing it when you are filming is not easy actually so now what I'm doing is going in over the slightly wet pouches again with the dark color but what it does is it repels against the water which is a, a really weird phenomenon so the uh, dark color sinks directly to the middle and it pushes the uh, the thinner wet color to the sides and it leaves you that edge highlight just from just from doing that I'm just going to brown off the worms okay uh, now I need some truly disgusting uh, overwash over the top of the nasty nasty boils so I'm going to use a vivid red uh, in this instance it's Antares red from um, Scar 75 and I'm just going to make a, a very very pink wet wash and what we're going to do is just spot and pull okay so this shit loads has just gone on there and instead of panicking about it we're going to do is push it around and blend it in I'm going to spot and pull again let's just pick out this guy's ear Trying to make his gums just a little more angry. <laughs> Do you like doing this? I kind of love painting herbal figures. Uh, so I'm going to spot and pull. Spot and pull. Pull it off from the top with your finger which will return you the kind of vibrant green again. I think we need some yellow. In those sacks. So I'm going to check a nice vibrant yellow and I'm really going to, I mean that's just, hang on, where is it? Just fucking mega loaded up on the brush. And I am just going to just tap each green zit. And because they're still wet again, the surface tension pulls the colour flat. And you get a, ooh, he says, and then fucks up the one on the shoulder because it's bled past it. As all things, we can rescue that. There we go. Um, it pulls smooth. Oh, sorry, guys. When I'm trying to speed it up, I'm pulling it away from the camera. If we utterly defeating the object of the session. Technical paint, uh, typhus corrosion. all over them which I hadn't noticed before so I'm just going to mix up a dirty orange strong tone and I'm just gonna oh, sorry pulling it to myself again I'm gonna get strong tone I'm just gonna work the bottoms of the horns
and then in reverse we're going to put a blob of white really unceremoniously on the top of each one of these which now looks shit I'm going to lick my finger and I'm just going to pull it down Just use the deep red. I'm just going to put some slightly greater contrast on the saws and then I'm done. Apart from the piece of ropey stringy shit around the tool, but you know, for the purpose of the video, I'm done. Gonna red up the areas at the base of the horn on his head as well because that looks a bit sore. Oh, it's just grown out of his head like that. And the same. Oh, for God's sake! Sorry, guys. I'm taking it away all the time. Not helpful. I think it's have a pupil. I think this guy should probably have a pupil. It's a bit stupid not to have a pupil on such a lovely open eye. So I'm going to use uh, Decay Black from Scale 75 just to put a little bit of detail in his eye. <coughs> Crazy eye looking down. Yeah, good. And then I want to make the other eye and mark different, so I want it to look opaque. So I'm going to take some purple. I'm just going to mix the white in with the purple just a little bit. So I've got a pale purple, and I'm just going to pick out the eyeball with the pale purple. And then I'm going to go back in and rebuild the sockets and the gun line, got dirty teeth. Okay. There we have a uh, box walker. Obviously, um, I've overrun a bit. What I'm going to do when I'm finished is go along and just wax some edge highlighting on and clean up this. But it, it, hopefully, this has served as a very useful glaze down tutorial. And if you're you're basically you're banging out a unit of these, you can do them pretty quick um, because you've got the same colours on the brush and you're just repeating the process. So, so. Um, I leave him static and then let's see if I can oh no we'll get maximum zoom. Okay, well there you go. I hope you enjoyed this guys. Uh any comments let me know. Cheers. Bye!